Without athletes, sport cannot exist. Unless athletes recognize their power and use it to organize, their rights will continue to be abused. Organizing is the foundation of the conversation that I think we all as athletes want to have. In other words, we want a formal seat at the table to have a conversation about the rights and the rules and the governance of our careers, no matter how long they are, they're going to be short. Organizing provides you that formal seat at the table, and that's why it's so important that we continue to rally together to provide ourselves that opportunity to have that conversation. The history of the unionized athlete movement dates back to before the United Nations Universal Declaration of Human Rights and the ILO's original core conventions. Playing conditions in unionized sport have improved as player associations negotiate better health and safety, shared revenue, inclusive governance, and equality and equity. Moi, quand j'étais quand j'étais footballeur, j'ai j'ai pas eu cette possibilité là d'être dans une organisation structurée qui défendait les causes des des footballeurs. Qu'il est important qu'on s'organise autour d'une autour d'un syndicat, d'un mouvement de sportifs pour revendiquer revendiquer nos droits et d'être vraiment une force de proposition pour la valorisation du, des statuts, du statut des sportifs. Realizing the rights of athletes, as people, as workers, as human rights defenders, is the next goal for our organizing work. We share the same passion of competing, of the training, of the teamwork. So that solidarity that we see here as player unions, I think is what makes us strong. A world of sport that is collectively bargained. This has always been and will always be the vision of the World Players Association and our affiliates.